Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for whenever it resonates, next seven days, whatever. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to talk about your person, somebody that's strongly in your energy. It may not be who you think it is, but we'll find out here in a minute now, won't we? So what do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Four cards. Four cards fell out. Let's see what they are. Bad timing. Ooh, something about money. I don't know if your revenue is going down or your money is going down. Something to do with money or finances or the bank account or something is going down. It's like, you're... They have serious regrets for hurting you. So somebody has serious regrets for hurting you. Ooh, change in living situation. So, hmm, maybe losing some money. Maybe somebody's moving out. I don't know what that means for you, but somebody has serious regrets for hurting you. Maybe something to do with timing. Maybe you got involved with somebody too fast and now you're paying for it. There's going to be a change in the living situation. Something's going downhill, and it looks like it's money. The financial, the finances, you know. There's Somebody could be leaving your life with that change in living situation. What do we have for Pisces? Ooh, the Hierophant could be dealing with a Taurus. May have a Taurus involved here. I don't know, but this is a higher power. It's God. Okay? There's a higher power involved. May have something to do with a commitment, a marriage. There, You could be, you know, the, the Hierophant represents marriage. It represents funerals. It represents uh, commitment, faith, trust, belief, you know, beliefs. Um... There's a higher power here involved, and either way you look at it, no matter how you look at it, there's a higher, this, that, that's the highest authority. The Hierophant is the highest authority, even higher than the Emperor, okay? May have something to do with a father figure here, but, or we may also be dealing with a Taurus. Um, there is some sort of higher power that is involved here. What do we have for Pisces? You're going to need to have strength, okay? You're going to need to have strength. I got the strength card on the bottom and the seven of pentacles reversed. I just cut the deck. So strength is a card of letting go. You know, you may be letting go of something and maybe it didn't work out. This is short-lived success. Okay, maybe you invested in something for a long time or for quite a while and it didn't work out. It's time to relocate. It's time to go someplace else. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else. Um, you are going to need to have strength, okay, because there's obviously some sort of change in your situation. Um, there's a higher power involved that is that is uh, orchestrating this change, okay? This change is being orchestrated from above, all right? Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Lovers reversed. We probably do have a separation here with the Lovers reversed. That is a separation, is a loss, is detachment. If it's not a separation, it, there's a, a big, huge disagreement. But the Nine of Pentacles reversed. The Nine of Pentacles is about independence. 
So I'm sure, so wondering if some of you are have new have become newly independent or you are going to be becoming independent. We also have the Queen of Pentacles here. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn. You could also be dealing with a Gemini. Ace of Wands in the future. Star card reversed. Four of Swords. Ace of Swords reversed. Strength card now reversed. The Moon and the Chariot. And then what you don't see coming is either a, a departure or an arrival. This is uh, a definite decision is being made. The to there's been some sort of indecision. The indecision is over. The decision is now made. Okay, the decision is there's no there's no looking back, right? The decision is now made with the three of wands. I feel like there's big plans for the future, relocation, travel. Um, I feel like somebody may have their bags packed. You know, they may be leaving. They're they're leaving. They're leaving very 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 quickly. Um, you do have an, a bright future ahead. I feel like. Uh, all is not as it seems. I feel like you've been uh, in a situation where there's 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 like depleted. A partnership may have depleted you. We have the lovers card reverse next to the star card reverse. That's depletion. It's depression. It's it's uh, a test of faith. I think that your faith has been tested. Definitely, because the Hierophant is a card of faith as well. You may be asking yourself, why is this happening? Why is this happening? You, Some of you need to take action. I think that you have been in a situation where you have not really been enjoying your life. The Nine of Pentacles reverse is somebody that may be codependent. Again, with the lovers right next to it reverse, may, be in a code, may have been in a codependent relationship just because they didn't want to be alone or just for the money. But I feel like it's really depleted, depleted you. There's a lack of spirituality here. It's depleted your gifts, you know, maybe your inner gifts, you know, your spiritual gifts. I feel like it's time out. It's time. The middle card is the Four of Swords. That is time out. I think you need to take a break. I feel like you need to heal. I feel like you need to go within and reflect on your future. You definitely have been in a partnership. I feel like it's it's been cold because right now I'm freezing and it's and it's not freezing here. So it's like it's a really it's like a cold cold situation. I feel like there's been a lack of clarity. There, we have the Ace of Swords reversed here. That's a lack of clarity, a lack of awakening, and a lack of spirituality here. You know, this with the Star card reversed. I feel like somebody is definitely moving. They're moving in a new direction. The last card out, the outcome is the Chariot. I think leaving it all behind. Um, I feel like you've been controlled or you've been under somebody else's control. You may have been dealing with somebody that doesn't respect you. With the strength card reverse, this person is very disrespectful. They're controlling. Uh, they're forceful. They uh, are, are very egotistical. You may not have seen it with the moon card right next to that strength card reverse. It may have been deep. You know, it may have been below the surface and you didn't see it. Maybe when you, you met this person, you know, you only looked on the surface instead of a little bit deeper. I feel like... Uh, you do have an exciting new beginning starting from scratch, starting over in, in the future. I think I feel like a lot of you are going to be going your own way. You're going to be uh, separating from a false contract that you got yourself involved with, perhaps because you just didn't want to be alone or you needed some sort of financial support. I do think that you guys have learned your value in some way. You have become very valuable. You know your value. Somebody came into your life to teach you a lesson. And I feel like this lesson has to do with self-value and self-worth. Um, but yeah, I think that there's a lot of fear here and there's a lot of illusion because the moon is, is your, it's your card. But it's, it's also fearful. It's illusion. It's fantasy. And I think that you need to be practical. You need to be realistic. Mirroring that is the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles, she is the Queen of Value. She's practical. She's she's realistic. She's solid. She's stable. And I feel like you're taking on that energy now, but that's getting real. I mean, that's a re that's really really getting real. I feel like a lot of you are going to be leaving behind a partnership uh, for something more more uh, stable, something more exciting, something more passionate. Um, there's been definite denial here, uh, denial of truth, um, not wanting to accept the truth, not wanting to see the truth, uh, blocking the truth. 
but I feel like there is some sort of detachment that is happening that is forcing you to see the truth, forcing you to come out of denial, forcing you to uh, go through this transformation because I feel like you're going through a transformation right now. The chariot is a card of transformation, but it comes with opposition. I feel like you're in charge. You're going to be taking charge. You're going to be taking the lead. Um, moving, moving, moving away from some sort of illusion that you got yourself involved with because of lack of self-value, lack of self-worth, because you didn't want to be alone. Um, All is not as it seems. There are hidden forces here that are driving you in a new direction. You may not be seeing the answer as to why, but it's because you are meant to be free from this situation where there's there's no real happiness. You know, the nine of pentacles in the upright is somebody that is enjoying their life. You know, in the reverse, this is not, it's not abundant. And abundance doesn't just come from money, okay? There's no love in these cards. We got the Nine of Pentacles reversed, the Lovers reversed, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Star reversed, the Four of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Strength card reversed, the Moon reversed, and the Chariot. Where's the love? Because there ain't none. There ain't none. So if you are in a partnership just for the lust of it or the... I don't want to be alone. You're not really abundant. That's not really abundant. So I feel like I feel like you this is like a reality check. It is a reality check. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's interesting that I had put my glasses on for your reading because I was like, I gotta see this clearly. For some reason, and and then I and then I dropped my contact, and it was just a mess. And I thought this is this is a mess. So right before I did your reading, I was like, I gotta t I gotta put my glasses on because I gotta see this clearly. And there's been some sort of illusion. Okay, this is illusion and lack of clarity. Okay, it is not seeing clearly, only looking at the surface. So I feel like I feel like there's something that is going to be revealed or has been revealed about a partnership that you have been I feel like you've been in denial about it. I don't I don't want to see the truth. I don't want to know the truth. I really just don't want to be alone. And I feel like some of you are now at a point where you'd rather be alone. You know, I'd rather be alone than be in a partnership that doesn't support my spirituality, that doesn't uh give me what I need and I feel like that's where you're at now so anyway I do feel like you have an exciting new beginning in the future you may the ace of wands is right around the corner that's a that's a new flame it's a new match it's a new it's a sudden desire to take action and move so whether you are dealing with somebody that is moving or you're moving there is somebody here that is doing something spontaneous and they and it feels like they're moving that chariot they're moving in a new direction because this isn't compatible I mean the lovers reversed is not compatible okay it's not maybe 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 it's time to heal maybe it's time to heal from a partnership that depleted your soul it feels like it depleted your soul but I feel like you've been in a place of fear right you've been in a place of fear you know you because the star card is fear fear of being alone and and, and strength card reverse right next to it there's a lot of fear there's a lot of fear there's also fantasy here Let's talk about your person, somebody that's in your energy. It's like refusing to take a new approach with the Ace of Swords re reversed. I'm refusing to take a new ap approach because I don't want to be alone. But I feel like you got this sudden desire or somebody is leaving you, you know, and now you got this, this new 
vision, right? The Ace of Wands is a new vision. It's like a new vision. It's a new spark. It's a new drive. It's going in a new direction. So I do believe you are going in a new direction. I do. Your person, Knight of Pentacles reverse, King of Wands reverse, Ten of Pentacles, and Magician reverse. Whoever you're dealing with uh, may just be with you for the money. You know, this person could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, could, uh, or Gemini, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is somebody here that is... Uh, doesn't appear that they're very healthy. They may be extremely manipulative. Um, very controlling. Extremely controlling. Uh, has some tricks up there. This is a tricky person. This person is extremely cunning, crafty. Um, in it for the money. So you're dealing with somebody that is in it for the roof. For the roof over their head or the money that you can give them. This person is, uh, I don't know if they're disloyal. They're disloyal, they're unfaithful, and that doesn't have to be sexually. It definitely could be master manipulator, liar, may even be violent. Could even be dealing with a narcissist, your person. I mean, this is somebody that is extremely controlling with the King of Wands reversed and the Magician reversed. This person may lack experience. They think they're experienced, but they're not. They really don't have anything of value to offer you. They don't give you, they don't, they don't have any money to give you. They're lazy. You're, you're, they're, they're, they may be, this could be somebody that, or they don't give the money freely. You know, they, they're, they're greedy. They're uh, cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap. You may be dealing with somebody that is very, very cheap. Um, no resources. The magician reversed is no resources. Not giving resources. This person may be giving up as well. Maybe they're choosing to give up. Maybe they're choosing not to give you. Maybe they're, and this could go vice versa. If you're the other person, you know, you may be choosing not to give them your money anymore. This could be somebody that's choosing not to give you. Okay, you definitely have somebody here that is angry. The King of Wands reverse. This person is angry. They are not going to. The magician is no, no more money, no more money. I'm not going to give you any more money. So I feel like there's fighting over money here. This is a money issue. There's still no love in these cards. And there is the money going down. So I feel like you've been in a relationship of convenience for uh, insecurity reasons. For one, I don't want to be alone. And number two, what can you give me financially? But I feel like there's going to be a sudden change where somebody steps out of this partnership because there is no love. There ain't none. None. Not even any. The chariot is finding the willpower and the discipline to master emotions and leave it all behind. Somebody is probably, I feel like we have somebody here that is moving and they could be moving a great distance, you know, moving, moving, you know, could be at a great distance. This is like taking the high road. I feel like there's an unclear and difficult path ahead with the moon card and I feel like you're feeling it. I feel like you're feeling in fear. This is extremely fearful. It's like fear that of not knowing, fear of the unknown. There's fear of the unknown here because there's codependency. I feel like it's time for you to go within and reflect on yourself, focus on your self-value, focus on your self-worth.
gain a new vision for your life. Don't communicate right now. Maybe you need to take a time out. I feel like a lot of you need to take time out to heal from a codependent relationship that you got into because you just didn't want to be alone. The person that you are dealing with has no intentions of giving you, I don't know what it is, the money, uh, something about money. Or they have no intentions of, I mean, this, there's somebody here that is not loyal. They're not loyal. The Knight of Pentacles reversed, the King of Wands reversed. This is somebody that flies by the seat of their pants. They... Uh, act without thinking or they don't act at all you know this is somebody that is lazy that is controlling that is manipulative that lies a lot this could be a, you could be dealing with a pathological liar they may have another person they may have another man they may have another woman I feel like it's another man though they may it may be a woman but the answer is no. It's no with the magician reverse. And this person may be telling you no. 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 And somebody is saying those words. No. There's no chance. There's no chance. Somebody is departing. And it's because there's abuse. I feel like there's some sort of abuse here. Neglect, honestly. What is this King of Wands reverse? That's an that's like an angry individual, right? The Queen King of Wands this is somebody that is unreasonable. That you cannot reason with this person for any reason. You can't. You can't. They're unreasonable. You know, inflexible. This person may also uh, be unwilling this is per unwilling to give they're unwilling to pay they're very very cheap um two of swords reverse seeing the truth now this somebody is is seeing the truth okay maybe it's your other person because they put it on them this is coming out of denial maybe your other person is seeing the truth about a foundation that they built up just for their money and they're saying no i'm not doing this anymore because that whoever you're dealing with may be very angry with you because it's, there's some sort of denial, and this is coming out of denial. It's like coming out of denial. This isn't practical. It's not stable. You know, I want abundance. So you may be dealing with somebody that is telling you no. The Empress Reverse. So we got somebody here that is very, very needy, selfish, self-absorbed, um, doesn't give love, not loving. So this is, I'm not sure what this is, but we have somebody in this reading that does, it's not love. It's, this is not love. This is somebody that does not love, you know, does not give unconditional love. This is like uh, an absent mother or somebody that doesn't like the children, doesn't take care of the house, doesn't take care of the family, doesn't take care of her man, doesn't take care of anything, doesn't, doesn't take care of herself. This is a mean-spirited, self-absorbed woman who is very needy, is very jealous, that probably has affairs, is forceful, that is going to be experiencing a loss. This is a termination. It is a termination. Cut it to the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but the Queen of Swords speaks the truth, tells the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Okay, so there is some sort of truth that is coming out. This truth it cuts like a knife. Okay, this is this is some sort of uh, information. You're about to receive some information. It's very honest, truthful, authentic. 
This is also an awaken, a wake up call. This is gaining a new perspective, seeing the truth. Somebody is seeing the truth. They're being told the truth. The truth hurts. I do believe there is some ties that are going to be severed. Somebody is severing. That's the sword that severs ties. There could also be a woman that has entered the scenario. This, this woman is completely opposite of the Empress and reversed. This person uh, is very authentic in their approach. This person may have come in as a catalyst for change. This could be the other person. I feel like we do have another person here. This is a professional. Could be a professional. The Queen of, the Queen of Swords is a professional. This is a professional speaker. Does something professionally. Telling the truth. Delivering the truth. The truth hurts because the Empress in reverse is pain. This is the truth hurts. So whatever is going on this week, I feel like there's going to be a change in your living situation. There is some sort of truth that is coming out. It has to do with uh, a woman here. I believe that it may be unfaithful. We may also have a man here that is unfaithful. Moving, moving away from a deceptive situation, seeing the truth, needing time to heal, gaining a new vision, starting over from scratch. Good luck.